Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Jelson here, and today we're back at it with a brand new NBA video. And in today's video, we're gonna be a little late on a subject, but I needed to put a video out because this is the start of NBA trade season. Even though this video is technically two days late by the time you guys are seeing this, it's just because it's being pre recorded and I need videos up. I, I don't know how to describe it. Y'all know what I'm saying. Anyway, I needed to get a video up on this at least at some point. And since it's the uh, start of the trade season in the NBA, you know, it's pretty important. So if there's any other trades happening by the point of this video coming out, you guys will know that there's going to be a trade video on that topic, you know, eventually, obviously, because this video is coming out two days from the actual trade app. I don't know. How, you know, you get what I mean. Anyway, so today we got the Woj bomb that I'll put up on the screen right here that the Memphis Grizzlies are sending Jonas Valanciunas and the 17th overall pick to the Pelicans for Steven Adams, Eric Bledsoe, the 10th overall pick, and another first round pick. And a lot of people in the comments, at least from what I was seeing, is why is this, why would Memphis make this trade? And I want to put this out there that's saying that this is kind of a win-win trade. I would I would almost say, obviously, Pelicans get off that Eric Bledsoe contract that nobody really wants to take on unless they're getting paid for. They also get off of the Steven Adams contract, which his contract isn't as bad, but it's definitely not great. And they still get back a uh, they still get back back a pick and a center in Jonas Valanciunas that Jonas can like space the floor at least better than Steven Adams can. I, I know Steven Adams was talking about how he's been working on a three point shot and he wants to be able to become that stretch five that the stereotypical NBA stretch five that everybody wants to have on their team. Who knows if that will be the case, but if that does happen, then hey, Grizzlies got a good one there. And, you know, Grizzlies, they got Steven Adams, as I said. Um, Steven Adams does basically everything Jonas Valanciunas does, except for the shooting part. Um, he will play better defense than Jonas does, and he's a better back-to-the-back -back center, at least in my opinion. Obviously, uh, you guys probably have different opinions than that, but that's my opinion. They have to take on the Eric Bledsoe contract, but they do get back the 10th overall pick and another first-round pick. So they're getting kind of paid to take on the Eric Bledsoe contract. I think of it as Steve Adams for Jonas Valanciunas, one-for-one, one, kind of. And then Eric Bledsoe and the 10th overall pick plus a, another future first-round pick is traded for the 17th overall pick, if that makes any sense. I, I think... I think I think that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I think I think of it that way because then I think of it as the Grizzlies getting paid to take on the Eric Bledsoe contract instead of just having to take it on. And, you know, the Grizzlies are a young team, and so are the Pelicans. And I feel like the Grizzlies got a center that can do what Jonas did, and they got Eric Bledsoe, a veteran guy that can, you know, you know, Jaw's been in the league for a few years now up to this point, but or he's going to be in, in the league for a few years uh, by next year, I suppose. Um, but he's going to be able to learn from Eric Bledsoe. You know, he's still young. He's still very young. So uh, Eric Bledsoe can lead the, the the veteran leadership that that team needs. And if you have Eric Bledsoe as your backup point guard, your team has to be at least decent. Like Eric Bledsoe is not bad by any means. It's just his contract that's bad. And, you know, so obviously I think this is a win-win trade. The Pelicans get Giannis, a guy that can you know, do what Steven Adams did and space the floor a little bit, When especially when your main guy in Zion Williamson isn't a shooter. They also get back the 17th pick. So it's not like they're just losing a first-round pick. If that makes any sense. Well, they're still kind of losing a first-round pick, but they're not losing this year's first-round pick completely. So, you know, I think it's a win-win trade. If anything, like, the Grizzlies won this trade, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's been the trade. I mean... It's a pretty quick video. Um, I think I think Memphis won it. If we have to choose a winner, uh, if we don't have to choose a winner, I, I'd say that it's a pretty fair trade for both sides. Um, obviously, it's the start of trade season, so I, I wonder what's going to happen in the future for trades and stuff like that. Like, what's going to happen in a few days? And then what's going to happen in free agency? What's going to happen on draft night, which is coming up in literally two days or three days from this point? So yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty close. I think by the time this video 
comes out, the draft will be the next day. So we have that to look forward to. And there's probably going to be a lot of trades going down then. And then free agency and more trades, stuff like that. Obviously, I'll be reporting. I mean, reporting. I mean, I'm not like a news <laughs> news anchor, but I'll be re- recording videos on um, that that the the free agency signings and the trades and stuff like that as soon as they come out. Obviously, I hope that it's not going to be like this where it comes out two days late. But uh, yeah, you get you get my point. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy Jelson. Remember to like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Jelson out. Peace.